I just wonder, will it work? Hmm, let's see. Why not give it a try? So, will the little cheap, thrown together, all burner work inside the foundry? That's my question. Hmm. I gotta say, that refractory has actually held up a lot better than what I thought it was going to. Even though there's a big crack, I don't know if a refra refractory does this not uh, crack. So, what do you say that we... Um, give it a go and see what happens i think it's a good idea i always have good ideas completely sane and awesome ideas yeah going off the basic principle what i learned is that part of the pipe needs to get hot okay so it can't just stick in there just a little bit it needs to be exposed to the flame somewhat to help the vaporization i'm thinking this might work um now will that hold up to all burning heat. Oil fired foundries tend to be hotter than um, gas fired foundries from what I hear. And I know that in this very foundry using a propane tip I was able to deform cast iron. So I know I've had it that hot. I think it'll hold up. But can I get this chamber hot enough in the first place to even harvest that heat? We're gonna find out. As long as I can get that chamber red hot or hot enough to vaporize and, and get the oil to its flash point, this should work. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a go. I'm going to shove them sticks to one side, light off this rag, push it down there, drop it down there rather, and I uh, hope this rag lights off. It should. Got plenty of oil on it. Put it down in there and I'll feed some oxygen to it as it needs it. Burning. Feed it some oxygen. I'm going to start introducing oil. I know it probably hasn't been quite long enough yet, but we're going to give it a go. I think the oil is starting to catch. Y'all want to see this? All right, the oil's caught now. I'm going to show you this. That is a nice vortex in there. The oil is burning. Alright, I'm not sure what time it is. We got this kind of capped off. She's still burning strong. I've got it just about, I don't know, I ain't got much throttle up on that. This blower you see is blocked off. I'm going to stick this crucible down in there and see exactly what happens. Is the airflow going to be enough? Is it going to block off too much airflow? What's it going to do? Now I'm going to take my oil cover wires here. Not 
quite enough room in there for it to get a good vortex. I keep losing footage because I'm almost out of uh, uh, memory on my phone, but it's getting a lot of blowback from where the tube feeds in. I got a puddle of oil there, but it's telling me it's not blowing in too fast. I probably need to put a needle valve on that to adjust it to a thing, but if I put the top on it, I think it's going to kill it off. I think the boundary design is too enclosed. They need to be opened up some. This requires the just the perfect amount of airflow and fuel flow. These are seem to be temperamental when it comes to that. I haven't changed anything but the airflow. It was running good. Now it looks like it's sitting up. So I've got to figure this out. I think a big problem is. There's not a whole lot of space in that boundary for it to atomize. Hmm. Uh, not atomize, but, but to vaporize. So, I can't cut down on the fuel anymore. I mean, I got it all. Maybe fuel blending would be a good idea. Alright guys, well that was a uh, founder experiment, waste uh, waste oil founder experiment number one. Learned a lot there. Alright, so basically this is what I've come up with. Number one, I think the air volume that's being pumped into the foundry is more that can actually escape. And that's why I'm getting blowback out of the, uh, the bottom of the feed area. When it's opened up, it doesn't seem to have so much of a problem. So putting the top on it to work. Uh, also, the area inside, uh, when I didn't have the crucible in there, it burned great. When I did have the crucible in there, it killed it. Uh, there's not enough airflow around there. So I need airflow. I need it to, to hang around in there and be hot enough to, um, to really vaporize and burn those vapors good. So that needs to happen probably a needle valve on the oil as well and uh the ability to slow down the motor or uh, maybe gate valve of it versus um throwing a shirt over it that's not working too well so i think i need to build another foundry with it's a uh, i got the circumference of a five gallon bucket <coughs> interior diameter and i think i think that might do it also, I'd like to go with a bigger pipe for the burner housing itself. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll experiment with that. I think if I get a five gallon metal paint bucket, KO wool the outside, and encase that in another metal, or if I just get another metal, just, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Or some refractor around it and stuff. I think that might actually work good. That would be a bigger foundry, taller, a lot of heat. Boy, I could really melt down some aluminum. I might be able to melt down enough to be able to do that 25 pound ant, kit, ant nest I found earlier. That would require 25 pounds. Hmm. I'm having fun with this. I hope you are too. Um, any suggestions or anything? I want to thank, you know, especially Jesse with Fox Run Forge, Fox Run Junior. Uh, for giving me some tips and everybody else who gave me tips uh, during the fail video and and during the success video you guys are awesome I thank you very much help me with this adventure tell me what you think about the uh, the bigger volume foundry and uh, yeah I'd like to know I love beasts and chicken grease <laughs>